traveling in the motherland has really humbled me. There is a saying that don't listen to what they say, but go and see things for yourself. Go live your life. Go learn something new and make sure you explore. Traveling in Africa has really opened my mind. This is Mozambique. Bem viva Mozambique! Yo, what's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, right here in Maputo, Mozambique. I mean, most of you are asking, what am I? Why are you not giving us these interviews? I mean, people even told that I'm not going to interview black Americans again. No, I just went on a short break, but I'm back. Hi, my name is Maya. Hi, Taryn. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, just tell us who you are. Um, my name's Taryn. Okay. Uh, I've been here in Maputo going on two years now, and I teach. I'm American. I'm from the States, so. Yeah. I'm American from the States in yeah. a Portuguese <laughs> exactly. country. Exactly. It's going to be Mozambique. It's Mozambique. It's great Maputo. Yeah. What brought you to Maputo? Uh, well, I knew I wanted to leave the States um, just to get an experience living somewhere else. Since I'm a teacher, I can teach like everywhere needs teachers, right? There's always a place for a teacher to go. So I went to this job fair and there were schools from all over the world. And I went to the ones um, in Africa and I was choosing between here, Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire. Okay. But the beaches here in Mozambique are so beautiful. So. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna come to the beaches. I want to learn the new language. So, you just wanted yeah. to be behind the sea, Not yeah, behind the scene, but behind, behind the sea, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo, tell yeah. me, um, how long have you been here? This is my second year. I'll be here two years in August. Wow. Yeah. And how is the experience like in yeah. Mozambique? It's um, it's different. How There's... different? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I was always the odd one back home for just kind of going with the flow a little bit more like the states can be very structured you're expected to be somewhere at a certain time and do this thing and it's it's like there's a lot more expectations whereas here I feel like it's more open and just more accepting uh, so people can kind of just exist how they naturally are a little bit more yeah I can see you're so happy in here. Yeah. Do, do you have like African friends? Because I, you know, I have so many African Americans. Who yeah. Tell me that, what am I? You know, I know Africans don't like us. So no. when I come to Africa, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do because no, no, no. these people are not going to like us. Do you have African friends? I do. I have a I lot. I mean, no, no. I mean, we are all Africans. Yeah. I, you are an African born in America. You're still an African, but I'm uh -huh. talking about. Do you have Africans born yeah. on the continent as friends? I do. I mean, even in the States, a lot of, I won't say a lot, but I had a lot of friends who are African, either their parents or they were born okay. and then moved to the States. Mm. Mostly Ghana, a lot of Ghana, oh, of course. Nice. Nigeria, Kenyan, um, yeah, Benin. And then when I moved here, of course, I have a lot of Mozambican friends, but I've met people from Malawi, South Africa, so. I think it's actually pretty, it's not hard to make friends mm. with people from here. I think sometimes there is, mm, there can be like some misunderstandings mm. and sometimes people, like it, it can get a little weird sometimes, yeah. I'm not going to lie because people are like, wait, but you're American. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm American, but I'm not just American, like I'm African American and like that conversation can get weird sometimes, but wow. yeah. I mean, like apart from Maputo, apart from Mozambique, mm -hmm. which other African country have you been to? Yeah, so since I've lived here, I've been to South Africa, Swaziland, and Malawi. And which one is your favorite? Well, of course Mozambique. <laughs> <laughs> um, but actually Malawi, Malawi is beautiful. Yeah. Um, really laid back, the, um, the lake there is gorgeous. The people there are probably some of the friendliest people that I've 
been around. Like I got invited into so many people's homes just for dinner and breakfast and it was really cool. They, they don't mind you are African American? No, they don't mind. They, they don't mind. Their homes? No. And oh, no wow. a lot of people don't believe I'm African American until they hear me talk. Then they're like, Oh yeah. She has an American accent. I hear it. Wow. So which means that you have a message for your fellow brothers and sisters yeah. out there who believe that when they come to Africa, definitely people are not going to like them. I mean, do you have a message for them? Don't believe it. You know, there's always going to be people who maybe see you as different than you are or want to say you're something different than you are. But I think being here has really helped me learn about myself and connect with other people. And I wouldn't let fear of people not accepting me stop me from coming here. Because if you fear that, it's going to happen. Yeah. So now you, you leave, are you going to leave here forever or you have another country that you um, want to go to? I'm not, I don't know. Uh, in July, I'll be moving to Tanzania, to Dar es Salaam. Um, and I'll be there for two years. And then, I don't know, I plan to stay in Africa. I just don't know where I'm going to settle. Yeah. Just don't know where you're going to settle, which yeah. means that you are slowly falling in love with Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to explore it. I'm going to go everywhere. I, I mean, l let's clear this misconception. I mean, let me know. Before coming to Mozambique or be before stepping on the continent, what was the kind of misconception that you have for the continent? Were you scared of going to Africa or, I mean, anything that you heard about Africa that you came, you realized that, no, this is not true. Mm. I didn't believe most of the negative things people told me anyways. But you uh, had some of the negative yeah, things. Yeah, like. of course. Like, I don't know, people are going to try and take advantage of you and rip you off and you can't trust people and everyone's scammers and, oh, you're not going to be able to wash your hands and you're not going to have a running water and you're going to live in a hut. Like, yeah, we hear those crazy things. Um, but. I never really paid any mind to most of them. I mean, do you see people living in huts in here? Here? I don't see any huts around here. <laughs> no. No. Uh, before I let you go, I want you to send a message across. I mean, like you're living in here right now. I mean, any... Okay, first of all, do you feel like there are opportunities in here? I mean, is it cheap to live in here? Mm. First of all, is it cheap to live in here? I think... For people coming from the states, okay. it's gonna feel cheaper just because of the the like currency exchange and everything like mm. that. Like it is, I've never felt like I couldn't survive here, right? Um, but I benefit from earning U.S. dollars, so I think that just kind of depends on your situation. But there's definitely opportunities, and there's people making so many just making so many new things and old things here so there's plenty of opportunities uh, which means are you living or you are surviving in here oh i'm living i'm living <laughs> <laughs> i'm living <laughs> i just wanted to hear that because it's very important because people feel like oh you moved to africa because you want to survive because you can't oh, no. you can't survive in the state mm -mm. but she is not surviving no. she's living her best life yeah. in africa I mean, I want to say thank you so much for thank talking you. to me. If, do you have any message that you think people need to hear that I'm not asking you, but you ah. feel like letting the world know? Just come. I think you let them know that too, though. <laughs> <laughs> like you just, I think it's something, you can have a lot of ideas in your head of what exactly. it might be like to come to Africa, mm. and you're never going to know what it's like for yourself until you come here. And everyone's going to have a different experience, and everyone's going to learn something about themselves, about their brothers, their sisters, the continent, and that's what makes it so beautiful. So everyone needs to come, like all the diaspora needs to come. But apart from the diaspora, we also have Africans that yeah. are watching us. I mean, Africans born on the continent. Mm -hmm. A message for Africans born on the continent. Yeah. A message for the Africans born oh, on the continent. Man. Feel free. They want to <laughs> hear from you. Oh man, what would I say? Wow. <laughs> I don't know why that like, cause there's so much that I want to say. Um, I guess thanks for welcoming us and thanks for trying to understand us despite whatever differences we might have. And I think, yeah, having that openness, that's, that's how we can build those connections. So thanks. Yeah. I also have a message for both Africans and Africans live in the diaspora. You might born in the diaspora, but you're an African born in the diaspora. So you're an African born in America, born in Jamaica, born in Caribbean, yeah. but those of us 
born on the continent we are just one people so you know yeah. what meet that brother from america and <laughs> tell him or her i love you oh thank, thank you so you. much <laughs>